beam deflection calculation by using area moment method uh, as it implies area moment is it's talking about area under the curve as we have seen the two equation that is used to get for example the uh, angles between point A and point B is calculated uh, using the area under the moment curve divided by the EI and then the uh, uh, the d deflection y, the vertical deflection y between two points are calculated. The summation of should be summation of all areas, summation of all areas times their uh, centroid uh, divided by e i. So imagine a simple situation where I have a uh, simply supported load on a beam. Let's say. This is a 2 by 4 beam. Let's draw this 2 by 4. So this is a 2 by 4 beam. It's supported, simply supported at point A and B. And imagine that I have a load P here, another load P here. And they're kind of all in same distance. So assume that this is X, all same distance. So that is the um, uh, situation, P load here, P load here. Then I can draw the uh, moment diagram, just extending that. So the shear force diagram will look like this. So it's going to go, so this point A will carry one of these P load and then reaction at B will carry another P load. So if we draw a shear force diagram, I said this is P, so it's going to go like that. So nothing happened here. Come back here and then go straight like that. Go down P and then go back up like this. So this is the shear diagram. I really don't need shear diagram uh, in this uh, solving area moment because we are only considering we only need the moment uh, curve. However, sometimes it is helpful to draw the shear diagram to get the uh, moment diagram. So if we say calculate moment diagram, it's going to look like this. And then moment at this point will be P times X like that. So this is the moment diagram. That's the moment diagram like that. Now if, I, if I'm interested to find out the maximum uh, moment, uh, so I can get just in color. So if I'm interested in, in, in maximum deflection, the deflection curve will look something like this under this loading condition. Typically it is the um, almost like a mirror of the moment curve. Of course, the moment curve kind of jumps like a straight line, but the deflection curve does not. So if I'm interested in calculating the uh, maximum deflection, which is actually in the middle somewhere here, so that is the maximum deflection, which we can call Y. Let's say this point is A, and then this point is C. So we are interested to calculate Y A C. So YSC, when I calculate that YSC, I only consider the area between A and C point. So if this is the C point, this is A, so I only calculate these two areas. So I'm going to say this is area number one, this is area number two. So to calculate theta AB, I can do theta AB is equal to, I got two areas, one triangle and one rectangle. So uh, area 1 plus area 2 divided by the modulus of elasticity times um, the moment of inertia. And then for the um, x, y, a, b, it is area 1 times x bar 1 plus area 2 times x bar 2 divided by EI. 
now you have to be very careful on x bar and x so this is the centroid so this is x bar for the triangle 1 x bar 1 however for the uh, rectangle this distance is actually calculated all the way from the left so this is x2 bar it's not just its own it's all the distance is calculated all the way from the left after that centroid like that so now you know how to calculate the rectangle area and the triangle area and you can get these values so that is how you calculate uh, beam deflection by area moment method